And I'm thinking, if a little is good, well, I'll just add more. First time using this over pastels and I had no idea what to expect. So first I'm gonna try to card it on. And eh, it's really thick, it's sliding. This is just on cheap, normal sketchbook paper. And so I'm like, okay, forget the card. The card doesn't last very long. And so I switch to my fingers. And then the fun starts to happen and it's actually smearing. And the texture is kind of cool and you can pat it, you can get little textures going on. And I'm not thinking bit. because the thicker you get it, the clear gesso isn't so clear anymore. But I'm playing and I just kind of get lost in it and more gesso keeps being added. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I get carried away and I just start smearing. This was sometime early fall last last year. And I'm watching this now going, oh my God, I kept adding more, more, I need more. <laughs> and goofing it on. So I used a ton of gesso and yeah, let's just say it didn't exactly end up clear. I kind of killed it, and, but it was an art experiment. So that's yeah. okay. Okay. That killed it. I totally killed it. My oldest daughter had actually claimed this when it was soft pastel, so I was feeling bad. But now it was time to play. So the thicker the gesso made for really good scratches. And so I scratched through with an X-Acto knife and then so it tried a little pen and ink on top. Hey, pen and ink on top of pastels, right? Uh, color pencil, that worked too. This is great. I tried temper paint. And so I'm just having fun. And I'm kind of getting into it. I'm like, hey, it looks like a little eyeball. I was thinking of a crab eyeball at this moment. I'm still on my eyeball kick. Still using temper paint. And I'm liking how the gesso is starting to grab it. Switching back to color pencil in a second. And so it's kind of neat. The gesso kind of makes where it can like, has texture and teeth and it's holding this media really well. And it's all over soft pastels. Very impressed with this stuff. Even broke out the water-soluble Crayola markers, playing with them, using them as watercolor. And I like that too. And alas, the doodle was lost for about nine months till it was recently rediscovered in the garage.